some chairperson's reports. So, Dr. Marks, do you have some things to tell us about elections? Uh, first, I want to mention about qualifying. I was de delighted uh, at the qualifying to have so many uh, great people step forward as, as Democrats. Uh, the Democratic Party is alive and well in South Georgia, and we are grateful for all of these people putting themselves up for, for public office. Uh, we've got some, th got some things, important dates to keep in mind uh, coming, coming up. This election is going to depend on getting folks registered to vote and getting folks turning out to vote. Uh, the last day to register folks uh, for the July primary is going to be July the, July the 2nd. Uh, I'm sure Gretchen will uh, later in the program mention the barbecue coming up on July the 5th at the Knights of Columbus Hall. That's going to be an opportunity, again, to hear all of our, all of our candidates, uh, not only uh, for local elections, but also the candidates uh, for the state-level elections as, as well. Our early voting uh, will begin shortly after the barbecue. Uh, barbecue is time just, just right for kicking things off. Uh, July the 9th is when early voting uh, starts. Uh, there's going to be a Saturday of uh, voting. This is one of the things we've, we've been pushing for, making the voting process more accessible to, to citizens. Uh, so Saturday, July uh, 21st is going to be part of the early voting uh, on a Saturday. Uh, then finally, the election day itself in the precincts on Tuesday, July the, the 30th, 31st. Uh, it's important uh, to us, for us to get folks out, uh, get folks uh, voting, uh, show the flag for the Democratic Party in South Georgia, uh, pick our candidates. So we've got a few, a few contested elections on the Democratic side. It's the Democratic voters that are going to pick the candidates that we're going to offer in the general election. Uh, so uh, pick your candidates, pick your candidates well. Uh, and then we will launch forward into the general campaign uh, for, for November. Uh, so Democratic primary uh, coming up, general election in November. Thank you, Gretchen. Thank you, Dr. Marks. Um, our qualifying chair is not here, but qualifying is over. Her job is done for a little bit. Um, Lou McClendon will bring us a membership report. Good evening, everyone. And it's good to see so many of you out. And one, I would like to do a disclaimer in as much as because two of you are running for the same district or three of you or a half a dozen of you, this is not a knock. This is a boost that so many of us have an interest in what is taking place within our community. I'm up here for membership. One of the things that we must do is get out and get people to A, become registered, to know what things are going on within the community. A lot of people are sitting around this city, fat, dumb, and happy. And the first thing they will tell you I'm going to vote for the other side because uh, we are not getting our jobs. Uh, he's raising taxes too much. He's got too many regulations. You need to say, whoa, 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 choke your motor. You need to know who has made the most regulations, him or the last administration. You need to know how many taxes has the president raised. You see, a well-informed voter are going to find that you are in the right camp right now. You are a Democrat. And when you see somebody out here talking about he is going to vote Republican, Look at him, check him out, and ask him some questions. You have somebody that calls himself or herself a Democrat, 
and they're eating three meals a day. Oatmeal, miss meal, and no damn meal. Let them know they've got life in the mix. Folks, don't let people sell you a plug nickel. As you are talking to these individuals and they're telling, we're going to take our country back. You can't buy a cup of coffee. How you have a country? The reason people are saying these things to you because they sense that you don't know what's taking place. For that reason, we have what's known as an issues program. Now, we're putting this in place, and let me tell you how the thing is going to work. We're going to have like a forum. We're going to have like five uh, areas, five subjects. Uh, Brother Prime has the, uh, agreed that he will t handle the corrections part of it. We'll have someone on education. We'll have another on other issues of the day. They'll sit across the front. Tentatively, the reason we haven't given you a lot more detail, because hopefully it will be down at the Mildred Hunter Center. And what we will do, each of these five pundits will speak for five minutes, only five minutes. After those five minutes, we will go into breakout rooms. And as you go into the breakout room for the next 25 minutes, you will be discussing that subject. We will come back together again, and anything that you didn't get in the breakout room, or if you have a question because you were somewhere else, you can ask it over the next 15 minutes, and then we'll all go home. The whole thing is, we want people to be aware of what is happening. We want people to know what is taking place in our county and in our state. We are not afraid for people to look behind the curtain. And if you are not afraid for people to look behind the curtain, then you will know that the party that you need to be in is the Democratic Party. Okay? Now, maybe somebody will disagree with this, but most of the folks you see in these neighborhoods and walking up and down these streets do not have enough money to be a Republican. Okay? So they're running around talking about, I'm a Republican. They can't even spell Republican. But they're talking about they are a Republican. Challenge them on it and tell them, come on out. We love you, brother. We love you, sister. But you got your facts confused. And if you do that, and if we register people, we will, in fact, have a successful voting year. Thank you very much. By the door are some of these really groovy signs. They say, Georgia deserves better. Elect Georgia Democrats. I'd like you to take these home and display them proudly. Put them in the window of your business or your car. Carry them around with you. Um, take them to rallies. You know, when Newt was in town, we, we waved these around, got a little press with them. So there are some of these. Georgia does deserve better. We're going to move our country forward. We're going to move our state forward. We're going to elect Democrats. Now, I was in the office today, and a phone rang. The phone very rarely rings when I'm in the office, but I answered. Hello, this is the Lowndes County Democratic Party. And the fellow on the other end said, Hi. Um, I'm usually a Republican voter, and I'm wondering um, why you Democrats don't have some um, advertising in the newspaper, because um, 
You know, the Republicans up in Congress, they really are on the wrong track, and they're preventing the president from doing anything, and, and their said mission is to stall and do nothing, and I'm not going to be voting for them anymore. I'd like to join your team, and couldn't you run an ad in the paper? <laughs> I am totally thrilled. This was an 83-year-old lifetime Republican called the office today and said he wants to become a Democrat. So, pretty cool. Um, this is the point in our meeting where we let members have a chance to say something. Do we have any members that have something urgent to say to us about any particular topic? Wynn Roberson and George Rines after Wynn. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, very shortly. Uh, I've been coming to these meetings for a while. Uh, I got out of the military in uh, 03, and pretty well I started coming after that. And I've seen a lot of people come and go, but I'm coming up this afternoon to say I am behind not only all of you all today, but I'm really behind you, okay? Because since I've got out of the military, I have seen her face over and over and over. She's worked, she's got out and done things, and she has a great mind. And she is solid, solid. A lot of people here I haven't seen before. And it's good to know that you're aboard. But I know you. I know you're solid. You've been here. So, and so what I'm going to ask right now is that I've worked with people on campaign, and then they come, once they get it or not, you don't see them again. You're not solid. I'm solid. And I'm going to ask you all to be solid. Not through this season, but we have another season coming. I'd like to see your face. Thank you. 